Okay, so I've had a few people ask uh, how we load these hoppers without a scale and in the fields and that sort of thing, and we have gauges. So uh, I'm not loading in a field today, but uh, I can show you how these gauges work. Yeah, I'm looking at this thing. Okay, so there's my uh, gauge of my tractor. You see right now it's about 29,000. He just moved me up to start loading my rear hopper. And if I was out in the field loading soybeans or wheat, and that sort of thing, um, it varies a little bit depending on the weight of your tractor, how much fuel you got in, that sort of thing. But anywhere between 27 and 28,000, I would move to the rear gauge. Now, my rear gauge my trailer is right here. And you can, you know, He's loading right now, so the weight's going to keep going up. And, uh, as that weight goes up, when it reaches about the 34 mark, because, uh, here at this place where we're loading granules, they, they weigh the stuff on the belt as it comes out, so, uh, it's pretty close for the most part. Sometimes it's a little bit off, but, uh, Yeah, so then you can look and see if you got, make sure you got 34 on the trailer axles and then 34 in your drive axles. Get a, kind of a rust color brown today. Anyway, that was the, uh, that's a little quick tutorial on how to do that, but it's, uh, it's pretty easy with the gauges. Just make sure uh, make sure you calibrate them about once a month. Take them to a scale and uh, adjust them accordingly, and you should be good to go. All right, take it easy.